Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 51, is it? Semi-final between the Man Kiz Meat Throttler and Augmented Beard. In the booth with me is Fymir and Dimmy. Hello! Hello! Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, semi-final of the CCL. And this game is dedicated to our viewers in Greece. Well, hey. yeah. The capital I, Athens, and they speak Greek there, uh, surprise, surprise. And the national, this is the Moussaka. And the national flower, obviously, the laurel. For the champions of the Olympic Games. Ah. Yeah, I, I have no idea. the second they... time that the Greece appears in the, the thing. Mm. Oh, and already have a KO in the game. That's it. It's all over, boys. It's pretty, that is pretty much GG. I mean, don't say it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting using the blitz there. Yeah, it looks like a. It looks like a. Kind of halfway line. Disengage. Interesting, isn't it? Um, it's this, this, weird. Is, <laughs> this is a monster dark elf team. Like it's a pretty nice necromantic team, and they've got a wizard and a babe. The bribe was, of course, get just get the ref just now. So both teams got a bribe from get the ref. Um, 12, 12 oh. elves, there are only 12 elves, that is... This is where the uh, werewolf, the mighty blow shown for werewolf died last game, isn't it? Yeah! <laughs> oh yeah, and he's got Chaney, oh my god, and he's got Chaney, so... Yeah, this is why he's only got one werewolf, and uh... <laughs> he has got a whiz, so... I mean... Elliot with a powerful ride, welcome Elliot, I hope Fumble was... Oh, he's tackled on white died as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Elio. Don't say it's over! <laughs> Elio, for some reason, thinks that comparing me with Escuro, it offends me. Which he doesn't at all. <laughs> oh, there, there you go, Elio. Did he call you Escuro? <laughs> is, yeah. is that, is yeah. that a thick Boston accent you've got, mate? <laughs> Come so, on! <laughs> it's really Come hard to tell. <laughs> Come on! Come on, there we go. Come on. <laughs> it's, it's really hard to distinguish between the two Boston accents, I guess. <laughs> oh, look at this. Punching so you can follow it up. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Lovely. Don't say it, Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to see... Are we going to see the run-up? Foul, I mean, it might have to foul now. This looks desperate, doesn't it? Yeah, as Ducky says, the tackle Pom White, strength four, block mighty blow wolf. Like, this is his team has been was gutted, wasn't it, in the last game? So he doesn't have much, much I mean, going I, for him. It's, it's quite weird, Jim, because I mean, the main problem I've had with um, any sort of undead team is my goal's not regening, but <laughs> apparently it's his whole team that's not regening, so uh, it's. Very unfortunate. It's yeah, in, uh, necro hardcore, no reason. Yeah. And this is this is the thing with Chalice, isn't it? It's like your whole team can you can win a game and your whole team still gets derailed just through uh, missing players. I mean, he's got a wizard. He's got some DPS. Like he can still make this work. Uh, it's going to be very very hard. It's a massively uphill game for Beard, but uh, you can't write off. Uh, a necro team with wizards and like he, that, I mean the werewolf's a bit of an interesting one with the dauntless and like no like all normals basically so yeah. could be a bit more interesting of a player but he's got Ch Chaney is a fantastic player um, and he's got two DPs and the the fouls are going to have to pop off basically in my humble blood bowling opinion yeah and some well, double then. ones from the elves yeah double ones like it's going to be like, I mean, looking at the board now, it's like turn one and the, the, the Necro already look really spread thin. Like, it's weird. It's such a weird thing when this is like the start of the game and it already looks like tough. So. Yeah, there are not many icons on the side of the beach of the Necro. Mm. No. Semi-final it is. Semi-final. Semi so the question is, does Manky, uh, not Manky, does Beard just kind of give up the drive? Try and do as much damage as he can, but stay huddled together and not give him any like easy hits. Like mm -hmm. I mean, that like that that could be a valid tactic for me. Like, oh, all right, we're gonna lose this half one nil anyway. Like, don't worry about it. We'll just try and do some damage, pick off the weak guys, but stay strong. 
or he can try and actually defend the score, get pulled around all over the pitch, and probably uh, lose a couple of players himself. Yeah. Um, which he has done two already. Has. The question yeah. is, he, he can afford to let, you know, uh, delve whatever they want, because even if he has a wizard, this elf team is uh, able to take uh, out the ball from the necro hands more or less. Yeah, days. I mean, it's, yeah, it's like he's got two Agi 5 guys. He's got, like, sidestep for days. Um, the wizard's gonna be very hard to be critical like I, I I think I'm holding on to the wizard like nine times out of ten this drive at least um, unless something spectacular sort of pops up which I, I doubt is going to against man kids he needs to get the uh, very lucky with the blocks to the blood steppers and obviously foul every single one of them as soon as he has any chance uh, it's the semi-final stick, mate. It's the semi-final. Semi-final, yeah, I think it is. I changed the title to make it clear. Charlie's yeah. semi-final. The monkeys, which uh, even with an agility team, is a total banker. <laughs> oh, banker. Yes, he is, yeah. I wouldn't go crazy, Daedal. That's, that's just madness. But, you know. Flip me a semi. Um, maybe even hold on the whiz ten times out of eleven. That's yeah, that's a bit too many. <laughs> Nine times out of ten. <laughs> no, he's exactly. yeah, he's got to hold on to the whiz. He's got to hold on to the whiz because it's scary, isn't it? Like it's going to need well, or you're more more liberal with it. Like one way or the other, right? You either hold on to it to try and score on your own drive and hope you win on the toss for overtime. Like you're probably only going to win this by overtime, or you'd use it early to just try and get super lucky. But obviously, it's it's easier to look an idiot if you use it super early. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know, you shouldn't care about because you you need to identify your chances correctly and stuff, don't you? I mean, Mankies will have the doubt in the back of his mind the whole time the wizard's in the game. As soon as the wizard goes, that's going to be like a green light for him to do whatever he wants indeed yeah man kids is a fantastic player i mean beard is a Ooh, risky a business player. here oh. two, two, well, that's that's a that's a good roll that, that is a blitz yep typical shithead necro blitz <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a desperation one because now he has the both uh, diving tackle on the floor and he's going to try, obviously, foul one of them. Mm. Mm. He's just feeding his dirty player to Mighty Blow again, which is fantastic. He sad. has two dirty players and they are zombies, so yeah, that's, that, that's the life of the dirty player zombie. He doesn't even get an assist on the foul unless he puts the goal in. Boom. Um. Oh, KO. Well, Beautiful reward for his... Uh, fantastic for his uh, foul. Could have been a little better in the injury, but uh, I approve, I approve. I mean, we're talking about the fact that Omended Beer is in desperation country. So yeah. why are you surprised that he's doing desperation plays? At least now, at he the is beginning, when, yeah, he's, when he's he can desperate. afford to do them. You know, it's like the, the ball is still uh, close by of his team. Most of, most of his team is already... Nearly gone because he got the he lost two players. So yeah, like uh, down main versus this team. So yeah, desperation time. I mean, as uh, Mankies, like when when do you, like when do you consider the deck Because um, like obviously you're trading mighty blow for fouls at the moment. Like which team is going to be hurt more by removals? I think it's the dark elves that are going to get hurt more by removals because you're not going to remove the golems. Likely not going to remove the golems. You're not going to remove the werewolf. Like, it's just the dirty players, isn't it? So he obviously is in an arms race to remove the dirty players. Um, now when it's very you, difficult to hit the You could player. just not be in a race at all, you know? You could just be hanging back, waiting around for uh, stuff to happen. Mm. Yeah, and the fact is now hitting the dirty player is more complicated because there is the golem and the zombie with guard uh, close by. Yeah, he removed the guard piece. Which so is pretty, if a monkey makes... Any kind of mistake now, or is unlucky, the Necros are in a very good position. 
Mm. And uh, <laughs> speaking of, oh, no, it's it's gone fast now. You you both talked for too long. I couldn't crack my hilarious joke. But um, <laughs> never mind. Carry on. <laughs> there you go, Jimmy. No, 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 you're feeling me, making me feel guilty now. Come on, crack your awesome joke. No, it's all right. You, you're both great. Thank you. <laughs> it's over. It's over. It's over. It. it's over. It's over. It does kind of look probably, like Probably he's... Jimmy's playing Battle Brothers in the other screen, you know what I mean, while we talk. <laughs> I'm not playing Battle Brothers in the other screen. No. I did stop Battle Brothers for this. Believe it or not. I may not be at my in. best. I may not be at my best commentating, but... Uh... I, it's not my fault. Like, I mean, it is my fault, but it's not by choice. That's what I'm saying. Oh, there <laughs> oh, was a there. Wow. The monkeys oh. in trouble. Oh, yeah, monkeys. It's wrestle though. Ooh, that's yeah, a spicy which, turn. Which the ball, the ball's on here, isn't it? Mm. The ball is. Yeah. The ball is on, and it's a two D as well, like with GFIs, I think. Mm, very with tackle. Nice. Super it's, interesting. Uh, well, he actually has to. No, he's got. He's got, he can dodge his line. Oh, one, two, three. Four, yeah, he's got five, two. He's got two guys, but no re rolls. So super interesting. Um, no, it was a great idea, Jaws. As I haven't, thought, I haven't asked anyone. Or, you know. I mean, is wow the foul on the DP? Oh. What the flip is happening? What the <laughs> flip? Is this? Is this? Is man kids for real? Like, what is going on? Like, honestly. You could you could fireball these four, right? He's, to, to leaving, like... the, he's leaving the ball on. I mean, it's not bad one, is it? Oh no, it's not. It's not I'm looking at the mic. I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an absolute idiot. But if you fight, you could fireball these four and then just really jam in hard. I mean, three of those four are amazing players as well. Yeah, like I wouldn't hate it. Like I wouldn't hit a lot of you know ostensibly bad players in this match because. There's, you've got so little to lose and so much to gain in all of them. Oh, cheers, Rick. Get back. <laughs> I've only stopped Battle Brothers to play this game, to, to cast this game, Meeplefish. Don't worry, I'll be, uh, I'll be playing Battle Brothers just as soon as it's over. <laughs> Don't say it's Don't over. Say it's over. <laughs> Probably even, even earlier. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm 100% I'm dedicated to this match. No, he's going for the squishy. He's going oh, for, oh quite right, he went for the squishy. He got the one in nine mm. and got the removal. So, genius strats there from Augmented Beard, knowing that he was going to roll the one in nine. Yeah. Well, that's and he actually, he, yeah, he looks like he looks like in a pretty nice spot now as well. Yeah. Spot the dog. Yeah, I think I think Mankis' last turn was probably slightly weaker than it needed to be, and I think that was a good turn from Beard. Yeah. Wow, look at Sober Dimmy. Not, who, who said anything about Sober Jim? Wow. <laughs> well, because you said that was a bit. You said that was a bit less good than it needed to be. Instead of that was shit. That was the worst turn I've ever seen in Chalice history. This is monkey the person you do the uh, sword that you will never speak again to. Um... After a very bad play, Dimmy. Oh, I know, so I, I know. I'll never speak again to uh, monkeys after Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's right. All I, can, all I can say is bolt the werewolf. <laughs> bolt oh, the there werewolf. You, there you, there you. <laughs> now, uh, monkeys, you know, is they, he's singing about the uh, going back. And it is the wizards making it tricky, right? There's the wiz and then there's two movement eight. Yeah, guys. and the wizard makes it tricky. Because... Mm. You could say, okay, you can go, you know, to the left side, looks a little weaker, but the wolves are there. Yeah. You know, and there is uh, not that many elves on the pitch right mm -hmm. now. Yeah, it's tricky. And there are no uh, easy targets for the Blitz with the Mighty Blow. No, the one that you want to hit yeah. is probably the guard zombie, right? Because then you're 75% knocked down, but then you still got to dodge off the, the block. A zombie afterwards, and you've still got to judge off all three blitzers and the lino, and so it's yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty diabolical this turn. And we are going to see, yeah, that's it. Boosh. I just had a, a hilarious joke, but Jimmy, Jimmy talked too long. So <laughs> <laughs> Banter. 
He said we need uh, in the case he comes to Nick Kong. <laughs> I don't know if I would be going to Nick Kong to be honest. Well, that could be we could do the ultimate uh, stealing content thing. You know, as soon as you appear, it becomes Jim Kong. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's a good <laughs> idea. Well, here you go. Well, oh. you could just steal Nick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's gonna be Nick Kong every day from now on. <laughs> <laughs> He's escaped from Rick's basement into Jimmy's. <laughs> That'd be pretty great, yeah. Oh, are we going to see a fireball? Move the move the witch just in case of that. I think. Hey Nick. <laughs> Day Nick. Hello. Yeah, it is. It is. The man himself, uh, or a uh, creator of Nick, of Nick Kong. It's good they're not having to play a Blood Bowl part. That might be what gets me over the uh, over the line to go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think a good bunch of the people are going to Nick Kong and are staying. Are they more of uh, the Saturday for the C C the UKTC but not play the UKTC? <laughs> yeah. Not fireballing or bolting at all. Interesting, because he could have done, couldn't he? He could have uh, to die on the ball with uh, tackle very easy. Hmm. Or on the witch. Yeah, super interesting. But bolting the witch was an uh, open gate just to uh, hit the ball carry. But he's going for the witch. Mm. Super interesting. I mean, it kind of is. I know he doesn't need two physics, but the thing is, he might, he might, he might feel like he wants to because of how how tough this matchup is. And although it's going well right now, it's still just a bunch of twos, and it's fucked, you know. So yeah, and like the thing you got to bear in mind is, like, it looks all right for the Necro now, but on the Necro's drive, the offense looks horrendous with the amount of blood step and yeah, uh, like. So, like, yeah, the Necro are always going to be stronger on their, their defense in this game, in my opinion, again. It's, uh... Yeah, offense against Dark Elves is horrible. Wolves become a liability instead of a strength. That's not good. Yes. Yes, is that your calcium impression? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Has anyone uh, heard oh, no, anything uh, from calcium? Uh, not for a while. He, he said he posted something in the. Uh... I will fuck. Oh no, he came on the stream, didn't he? He came on the stream for a little bit one time and, uh, and said he's. Okay, well, calcium, terrible foul. Oh, I would wow. never have done it. Triple ones. Triple one. Oh yeah, that's why that's... Mankes did that foul, of course, because he got the bribe from get the right. Defending the ball. Yeah. I think that foul was that... kind of mental earlier, but it wasn't actually. That's what you get when you try to foul a deal. Mm. Oh, is this the blitz here? You could um, you could stand up, blitz with a witch, almost certainly get him down, and then dodge everyone through there, or block there, or something, or just blitz him and block there, and just move over here. Maybe just move over here. Who knows? Did you know double ones are more likely to happen on fouls? Way. Good day, Nick, with the meme lording. What a surprise. <laughs> I can tell you something that's not a meme, and that is Kislev catches double one more than any other player <laughs> in Blood Bowl. Ah. That's that Skuro. Don't oh, tell Elliot. <laughs> Don't say it's fine here. <laughs> <laughs> it's an easy mistake to make. 
Come on. <laughs> no, it's because he made the joke already in his stream earlier. So yeah, he's uh, keeping going at it. Oh, there goes. Mm. Mm. I would do. It. I would have been tempted to go for the fleshy and like go through, but I guess you don't need to. I'm just going for the sides. Good enough, isn't it? I'm gonna get a cup of tea if that's okay with you fellers. There you go, uh, Jimmy. Starting a battle in Battle Brothers. <laughs> have you got? A have you got a teapot, Jim? That's the question. I don't have a teapot. No. Can't believe that Yank had a teapot. Yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. It was also a kettle. It's not a teapot. <laughs> no, he had a, no, he had a teapot. Oh, there's a there's a there's a clip there's a clip there's a, there was a fella stream no, and, and he had a teapot. He had a teapot. I, I believe. Be right back. I will defend. Oh, there was a physic getting rid of Something the out because he decided to subscribe. Good mood, physic. Yeah, now's a really bad time to break to physics, but um, now uh, subscribers also get ads. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Well, if they do that, that will be the end of uh, <laughs> Twitch. I mean, it's like, it's, it's game on at the moment, isn't it? It's game on. Got some iffy stuff to do with that witch. He's offering the mighty blow piece right now as a sacrifice. He needs to protect uh, him at least a little. Right now it's very easy to get a hit. Yeah, I don't think there's there's no way to protect that guy, but the wolf. I'd I'd probably put the wrestle on the wolf here, yeah, and then dodge off. Oh, oh, oh. oh this isn't good. Oh, let me step back and left. Oh my god! Oh, double pals. What a banger! Yeah, but he's got the dodge. Oh my, oh my god. god! Wow, wow, game, really game. Yes, well, we are here, you know, five in the morning, uh, keeping up, you know, just to bring the better entertainment to our watchers here and in Greece. Hello, Aditeli. I'm guessing I'm going to have to make a, uh, more than a few hellos at uh, Nick Con. 31st of March, York, in any multiverse. Oh, mate, I'll be meeting you there, mate. It'll be, uh, it'll be a good laugh. Oh, yeah, 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 I already have the... Got a place to stay. A nice uh, one-bedroom uh, studio. Bed and breakfast. Oh, really? Very to, yes, very close to the station. Oh, nice. Yeah, sadly, I'll be playing Blood Bowl all weekend. <laughs> well, well, disgusting, but not a Friday. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Playing Blood Bowl with a hangover. Jesus Christ. Well, like, I mean, that's my life, to be fair. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, you, you have a point there. I've been in training for this for <laughs> seven years. And if you are seeing uh, something uh, weird, it's because uh, Blue Bowl decided to switch the view to the necro side instead of the... Yeah, it's a bit <laughs> of a weird one. I was thinking, yeah. how the hell did the, the ball reach that side of the beach? It's, um, I mean, the uh, Kebao just decided the game was over once the witch KO'd that werewolf and was just like, nope, that's it, we'll just switch over. <laughs> Drive's over. I think it was an absolutely brutal turn of events as well because I think Beard actually played it pretty well. I think Mankey looked a little bit shaky for a turn. 
And then that that result just completely swung it, and now he's uh, he's looking pretty comfortable. Oh, there you go, Jimmy's back. Hello. Oh wow! Don't say it's over, but it, oh wow! There's a killed wolf. Oh dear. It yes, over. with the red dice. It was a red dice. Okay, oh. uh, monkeys uh, decided to hit the wolf with uh, two dice into red dice. Yikes. And the red dice, boom. Yikes. I mean, sometimes you need a bit of luck in Blood Bowl, and that is normally when your luck completely deserts you and <laughs> <laughs> makes it as painful as possible. Yeah, this, and now the fleshies are totally in the wrong place, and it's fucked, isn't it? Yep. Well, the drive's over. The problem is, is that werewolf has to come back. He he does get 2 KO rolls out it. I'm assuming he's got a babe with him being so far down on one TV. One babe, yeah, one babe. Um, Can't see it, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, there yeah. you go. So when the babe fails, it will be even more tragic. <laughs> yep. I mean, yeah. Like the thing is, is if, if the wolf doesn't come back, who's carrying the ball? And is if you're looking at Cheney, he does have wrestle. And, well, uh, he's got a go. He's got a go to carry the ball with the sure hands. Oh yeah. yeah, of course, of course. While he's still alive, yeah. Yep. Correct. <laughs> um, and this is more or less monkey to say. Okay, this is not looking good, so let's try to have some luck and protect my ghoul. Oh no, Mankey's is Ooh. the Dark Elves. <gasps> Wee, Dio Ooh. conceded. Dio conceded that his next game. Huge yeah. removal. Yeah, so that's Captain 11 now, the uh, Delves. Even though he's just a rubbish lino, it still, still all matters, doesn't it? It still all counts. Yeah, all counts especially because there is going to be a, a extra LOS a series of hits mm. with uh, the have... mandatory foul, of course. You might force him in early. I, I don't see him forcing him in early. No, no he's, he's not I, going uh, to. Do. Early is already time seven, Dimi. Did Dio concede his cup game? Oh, he was playing uh, Dwarves, wasn't he? Who did Dio... Play, he must have played either Vava or Vava. Vava. Uh, he lost to the Chaos. He lost to Chaos, yes. Someone, someone didn't uh, play the cap game, but I don't know who. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, is that why the other guy, and and what's his name? Anton Vart or something? Anton after, I don't know, there's just somebody. Oh, at the quarterfinal? Did they just not yeah. play the quarterfinal? Uh, uh, no, no, it was one before the quarters. It was round, round 16. Uh, it was... Uh, Mad Jake. I can't remember his opponent. Or did his, did his natty die or something? And he was like, nah, I can't be bothered. No, no, they just didn't play it. I mean, this is our decisions to concede because getting a ban for three seasons when Blue Ball is out next month. <laughs> yeah. They just literally didn't play. The, the, his opponent just didn't play. I tried. I, I had Gary on today, and uh, he's not replied. Yeah, it was a, that was a random at Gary on I saw. Yeah. Well, no, I asked him if there's going to be another CCL season next season, and uh, yeah, no sign of him as of yet. I thought it was weird that, considering I don't play Blood Bowl, I was the only one that's asked. Yeah. Well, there's been a constant chat about that. I think people are uh, waiting for the any news about Blue Wolf 3. Carry on! <laughs> God, I love the exclamation point. There's a bunch of good sound effects, isn't there? Oh, Sergeant has... Uh, Confirms has, uh, there will be another season of CCL. Shit! I actually hurt my ears, Jim. Well, I think I think everybody should uh, create a new account, call it the uh, Elliot three four five six seven eight nine or whatever it is, <laughs> and call their name the teams uh, Amazon. So that way Amazon will win Chalice and Elliot will win Chalice. 
Oh man. Yeah, uh, I don't think so. I would love it if like <laughs> just Elliot three, Elliot five, Elliot well, twelve. Five, you know, be yeah, good. Until Elliot sixty five or or seventy eight or something <laughs> qualifies. That would actually be great. An army of Elliots. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows that at the beginning of every CCL season, there is a new clone of Elio that uh, comes up. That's why, you know, he appears head shaved and all that. Oh, yeah, of course. I, That's his robotics, isn't it? He's just, making, he's just building Elio robots. Exactly. You know, they come without the hair and really that. And they start growing the hair during the season. Yeah, he's, he's like Ultron. <laughs> <laughs> The best thing about Elliot that I can't wait to see is he, he's been planning to do loads of stuff through his stream and then he said that he's going to wait until Blood Bowl 3 comes out to do it and, mm. and I, I, I want to see how nothing changes when Blood Bowl 3 comes out. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be nothing. hype. <laughs> Be so hype. <laughs> oh man! Do you know what? Uh, do you know what? If he comes out with a blue wig and he and he's Elliot Chan, oh, oh <laughs> Ellie Chan. God. If he's Ellie Chan wearing a blue wig, oh my god! <laughs> oh, that's that's a. Uh, we're we oh. in a shaky ground then. We're shaky ground then. I was gonna do this. I was gonna do that. But then I thought, no, no, I'll wait till Blood Bowl three. So like, well, I can't wait, Elliot, for your first Blood Bowl three stream. Oh man! See all these changes that you've implemented. Ellie Chan. <laughs> God, that's a terrifying thought. Oh, Werewolf is back. No. Uh, the Le one turn is on. Mm. Oh, Pedro. <laughs> Snag a Blood Bowl 3 account of your favourite chocolate brand. Yeah, yeah. nobody should nobody should use the brand of their favourite chocolate for a coach name. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. Don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, feel free to take Dimmy G, lads, because I won't need it. <laughs> Enter! <laughs> It'll probably, they will only be better than me anyway, wouldn't they? <laughs> it would well. it's, it's, it's going to be a store, stealing all uh, the names, sniping all the names of all the coaches. Uh, you know? yeah. As soon as the game launches, you know. It's really yeah. restless, Andy Davo. I, I tried to sign up as mis misspelled tree, but I misspelled it. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> I am the actual misspelled tree. Oof, Elliot. Oof, Dimmy, for God's sake. Fuck off, Dimmy. No, this one is going That's true physics. Dimmy G! The legend, Dimmy G. Everybody's favourite. We all know that after you get to see, you're going to get motivated again, Dimmy. Mm. Make, make what again? Motivated. You will get motivated to play Blood Bowl, you know, after chatting with everybody and saying, like, oh, yeah, maybe, you know, play Blood Bowl. Maybe. I mean, wow, man! Like that. that there's two different scenarios right there: chatting to people <laughs> and then playing Blood Bowl Three. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a big leap to be fair. Yeah, it's like punching someone or unloading a shotgun in the back of their head. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit different. <laughs> oh God. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I'll have a look and see what people think of it. I, I don't have any plans to play it at all, or even buy it, but, you know. Mm. Things change. Everything changes but you. Oh, my God, I don't even know the next line. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> We're a thousand miles apart, but I still love you. <laughs> Oh, is it? Is that, that's Gary Barlow, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'll take, take that. that. Yeah. Like, what's his name? Mate, I'll tell you what, Jason Orange had the right idea, didn't he? Just be like, like no one knows who he is. Yeah. You know what I mean? He, he made all the money and didn't really do any work. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think even Howard. I think Howard is a uh, is even was even better to be. Well, honest. What even? Yeah. Well, I don't even wait. know Howard's surname. At least we both know Jason Orange. <laughs> it was Howard. <laughs> Howard Donald <laughs> didn't even know like, his surname. Like, yeah, like honestly, like it was just literally Robbie and Gary, wasn't it? it was... yeah. And the little one. <laughs> oh, well, there was another one, was there? Yeah, there's little. Yeah, there was five of them, wasn't there? There was a, there was a little. Oh, one. I only thought there was four of them. Oh, but that's because Robbie left, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah the, I don't know what the little one was called. Uh, wasn't I... he in Westlife? Wasn't he the little one? No, no. There was a little one in in Take That. Did he have like a gap in his front teeth? I don't know. Or was that the Westlife geezer? I don't know. His little one. He was, oh. was a little yeah. one. Mark Owen. Mark Owen. Back to the game. Oh guys. yeah, he looked like the guy out of. Uh... What was that? You know the TV show that was an Australian high school. And it wasn't Neighbours, it was like Heart... Heart... Oh, Heartbreak yeah, yeah. High or something. Heartbreak, Heartbreak High, yeah, yeah. yeah oh, yes, Mark, yes. Mark Owen looked like the main character out of Heartbreak High. Uh, <laughs> Heartbreak High, yes. I remember that show that they put the a season every year in the summer in Spain. Man, I love that show. What a quality yeah, show. show. What a quality show. Yeah. Americans make the best soap operas, don't they? Like, honestly, <laughs> my... Here we go, big foul now. He put the sidesteppers on to stop the one turn, which is controversial. I think he was a little too worried for that. I wouldn't have put the... Mm -hmm. side that those pieces there. I mean, the chances of him nailing the one turn were very low. Yeah, and he's got away with this, really, just a KO. Yeah. And now, and now he's thinking if he needs to up all these uh, KO. Which, if oh, he doesn't wow, go he back, that's his only uh, mighty block gone. Yeah, there's that loads of elves running off. Yeah, loads of elves. Loads of elves came back. But he's down to and 10. That, he's got his mighty blow back as well, hasn't he? Yep, yeah, and he's yeah. only down two Lionels. Rookie Lionel, so minimal quality loss for the Mankeys. Very, very lucky there. Mankeys have had uh, a few uh, strokes of luck this uh, first half. Yep. And uh, I mean, uh, red dice in the wall into KO. No, oh like. man, it was disgusting, wasn't it? Like it looked it genuinely looked ropey until that moment and then uh like yeah. Like hats off to Beard for making it um a little bit ropey for him. Uh, but, Monkeys yeah, is uh, struggling here big time. Usually he tends to be a quick player if I remember correctly, and he has been using nearly all his time the uh, time turns. Yeah, it's been tricky. The problem, yeah, the, I mean, the problem was, like, he lost the wolf and he lost the pommel. Like, he, he lost his teeth, didn't he, the uh, Necro in the last game. So, like, I mean, you look at this team, you look at the hits they're about to make, and, like, they're, they're just not terrifying at all, are they? They're, like, yeah. it's basically like being punched by a rookie team. There's, like, one mighty blow that you got to worry about. An undead team you'd be... A rookie undead team you'd be more worried about by being punched by right now than this Necro team. Yeah. Yeah, Which is, uh, yeah. Where's the goal? Back to get the ball. I'm really it. surprised yeah. he's not going to blitz the IG5 two hands. Mm, I mean, he, 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 yeah, he could just lose if. Yeah. The blitz. the blitz is the thing in here, so. Covers that. I like. I like screening the tackler here, so he's free. Whatever happens. Well, not whatever happens, but you know. What may happen? Anything could happen. And he it's survives. A limit. He survives the mighty blow hit. He survives the mighty blow hit. The one hit he, he was probably concerned about. This will be a Kaz because it's not mighty blow. Three dice. A max three. <laughs> It's not a Kaz, but it is an armor break. <laughs> it's an armor break, we got something out of there. Alright, now we got the Blitz. And who are we okay, blitzing? The, the Blitz should be with uh, oh. maybe Cheney. He might Blitz the Arch 5 still. Nah, no, no, he's just going to go for this. He's going to Blitz the rest. I mean, the Blitz in the rest has uh, some problems in itself. Yeah, but I think it's the best of a bad bunch, really. I, th I think that, you know you don't want to blitz the sidestep, mate. You go giving away hits if you don't do anything. This way, you get a bit of strength over there to stop them sneaking around the side. I think this is okay. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't put a foul in. 
Or is he going to foul with the rookie? He's got he's got to meet the more concern about the ball, I think. Like, you know. Ah, uh, mate. I I I think fouling is his only chance. In a way, yeah, but I think you've got to secure the ball. I think you've got to just like if you can get this drive done, you've got the wizard as well. You know, you can win this game by by scoring win, more yeah, goals and winning win the toss in overtime. He could win the toss. That's true. So I think you've got you know as long as you make this really as safe as you possibly can. You know, Mate, this like this. like it looks all right now, but like at the end of this dark elf turn, I'm pretty sure it's going to look horrendous. <laughs> Uh, you know that mighty blow uh, piece has been extremely effective. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah and like people like the tryhards take their guard. Uh, honestly, just bang boys, just bang, greedy bangers. Uh, he already has away. guard uh, in enough amount of guard. So yeah, having a one mighty blow is uh, really good. Better than juggernaut, isn't it? Hey, <laughs> blitzer. 100% uh, mighty blow uh, before uh, uh, Juggernaut. In a witch that already has friends in, uh, well, maybe mighty blow is better, but Juggernaut makes much more sense. Where because you have your friends to? there. Yeah. Where's he off to? Where did, he, where did he put him in and took him out? I don't know what, what that was about. <laughs> Shaking all about. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll put the wrong guard there. Oh. Imagine changing your mind in Blood Bowl. <laughs> Wait, put him in the screen and then he moved him away. Yeah, yeah that's the thing. It has been delayed so much. I, I agree. I don't think they'll delay Blood Bowl 3 again. And I, th I think it'll just come out. Right, here we go. <laughs> here's a prediction. Yeah, here's, here's a prediction, Jim. Is it going to be over or under, better or worse, when they release Necromunda? I don't think it can be. I don't think it can be worse than Necromunda. I think you are the only person on the planet that played that game. I haven't played it. I haven't played. It. I, I was going to buy it. I had my fifty quid ready, and then they they uh, pre-released it to streamers, and I watched it, and I thought, "What the hell is this?" And then I never bought it. Yeah, that was exactly my thing as well. Loop, I got it for free, and Did I it? didn't. I didn't even ask for it for free because I was like, I just don't want to play it. So like, I didn't. I didn't even ask for it for free, and then like, Loop, I was like, Why didn't you? You can't go wrong for free. And I was like, Yeah, I could. Play, I could have spent any time playing it. <laughs> yeah. you know, people, people say, Oh, things are free. No, no, there's always a time investment. I mean, this is this is how bad it is. It's actually six quid on Steam right now, and I didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have it for free. I wouldn't. Uh, but oh, here Ooh. comes the foul. Oh, he's uh, he's hurt. And he uses the apple. Man, kid's thinking. You know, he needs numbers now. And uh, <laughs> that's wait. a bizarre apple. He didn't use the apple. No, he didn't. No, no well, I wouldn't use. I wouldn't was, use that. I was thinking about it like just the wrestle piece. Is like, uh, yeah, that was so weird because it looked it looked like he'd use the apple. I don't know why I thought he'd use the apple. Wow, it's interesting. I mean, I wouldn't have used the apple either, but I thought, wow, he must think that he really needs the numbers that much. But I don't know why I thought he needed the apple. Sorry about that, everybody. I wouldn't download a shit car, Addy Telly. If I could download a car, I wouldn't download a shit one. If you give me a car for free, chances are I'm going to sell it in the next five minutes. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you could download a car, I wouldn't download a shit one. I'd only download a good one. <laughs> and if you get an ultra fancy car, you know, keeping those cars are so expensive that it's going to be it's a course, you know, getting mm -hmm. insurance, something like that, not sleeping at night thinking about the car. <laughs> But yeah, I don't see how it can be worse than Necromunda. No, I, I think I think it can't be as bad as Necromunda. I think it's gonna be uh, the amount of uh, patches that are gonna come in the first two weeks is gonna be amazing. Mm. Yeah. I mean, if regular triple games, you know, get a lot of patches in the first weeks, this one uh, looks like it's gonna be that is gonna be the case. Leaving a. 
gap or is he just going to move that guy? Maybe he's going to move the Delph over. The Edge 5 needs to move one, doesn't he? And he does. So yeah, now the thing is, the, the, the Necro, can he get through this wall? And maybe, this, like, Dark uh, 9... Well, this is what I was saying, like... It looked all right on the Necro defense, but when you compare it to their offense, their offense is always going to be horrendous. Yeah. Worst case scenario, he has to use the wizard, but it's still very early. Yeah. I mean, that's not the worst case. Worst case, yeah, he worst gets turned over and score. Yeah, yeah. Worst case, yeah. he gets turned over and scored on. But oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. If 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 he has to use the wizard to score, it's not that bad because he can win the toss in overtime and then be up against less people and score in overtime. So I think if he has to use the Wiz, if he can score from using the Wiz, I think he will. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, you, you're only winning this game in overtime now anyway. So, you know, just gamble on the 50-50 winning the toss. So so just put in anything you can to to score now and hope you win the toss and can win in overtime. So it's, it's, it's interesting. Don't say it's over. I should just be right back. Jimmy already having to pay attention to Battle Brothers again. To what? Jimmy's probably paying attention to Battle Brothers again. I'm playing Foxhole, mate. This one's over. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jimmy's playing right now. I'm probably. joking. I'm joking, mate. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's looking pretty tough for uh, Necromantic. And uh, this is like going to the sidelines. Uh, I mean, it, uh, what else does he do? Yeah, because the elves right now don't need to do anything. Just keep the the yeah. wall, and that's it. This is the thing. Like, does he come around and surround him? Like, or does he just sit in front of him? I think he might just sit in front of him. It's fine. Enough. I, th I think he'll just sit in front and be conservative. And yeah, the flesh golems are doing some work. Yeah, flesh golems are doing some work. But I mean, if he if he somehow miraculously knocked over that strength five. Oh look, here we go. He's he's just cut him in half already. Oh. So it'll be interesting to see how many others he wants to bring around. I mean, he needs to bring someone else because just that well, the, one guy is, you know, they're gonna make yeah. a big job. But the problem is, is he, he kind of wants to defend his good players, but like he's only really got good players left. <laughs> so, but but again, like there's not much bite to this Necro team either, is there? So it's uh, it's an interesting one. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to like lose the overtime like you know that, that's the thing isn't it? he doesn't want to lose the overtime defending this this normal time but then yeah if he defends then then he doesn't have to deal with all overtime so it's interesting it would have been interesting if that wrestle piece was the diving tackle guard piece and then it's the sidestep on that line mm. so yeah that'd be the better place for it for sure yeah but you also don't want to hang out your sidestepping like do you know what i mean it's like I think he's probably wrestling with the decision of who do I want to put out that's pretty good versus how much do I think I'm going to win this game versus what do I need in the final to win the final. So this is a... Like, you might see some out-of-characteristic plays where he's got one eye on Le Chalice rather than on the game. So it's it's a, it's a weird one. It's a weird one. I mean, we might see full pixel hug mode. Ooh. Cause yeah, at the moment you you probably just blitz through the wrestle. It's it's tough, isn't it? He's, he's like the thing is, is he's probably forcing him to blitz the wrestle. Um, but if he blitzes the wrestle, he's not getting any progress. So he's gonna sit in that cage there. Mm -hmm. Whereas you'd like to blitz the 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 skillless line on on the right. And make some headway up there. 
Yeah. Yeah, and it was good actually. Yeah, it was good actually having that guy because you'd rather bridge yeah. any of these, but you can't because they're all bloodsteppers. Yeah, he's yeah, so, he's basically he's basically said that's good by like he he's decided who uh, Beard is um, blitzing, mm -hmm. which can never be bad. I think he's going to put the foul in here. It's not a full run up. Ooh. Not what I would have done. <laughs> yes, job done. <laughs> Ooh, very good camping. foul. One of the best fouls I've seen in this uh, season of this year. <laughs> Yeah, and huge, isn't it? Because now it means he can really start getting fouls in as well. Getting the extra reserve. So, yeah, horrible to see if you're the man kiss meat throttler. Yes, but you've got to remember that half these players are movement four. And. Like, his flesh columns aren't the most mobile if they're based. No, but there's one player less. Or One player less. I mean, he's got he's got guard. He's got leap. He's like the only thing is is he hasn't got tackle. Like on the leap guy, I mean, not obviously he has got tackle, but. But also, if he you know invest the players trying to go to the ball and doesn't work, who would be in a triple uh, position? Hey, he could, like, I know this is bonkers and it, it probably will, will never happen, but I mean, Mankis could literally just base everything with sidesteppers and just go work that out, Beard. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. And it would be a complete nightmare, like, because you don't want to punch any of these guard sidesteppers because they're going to go straight in towards the ball. Like, and it's like, do you gamble now and just go, right, deal with this? Or do you want to sit away and get slowly picked off with fouls and stuff? Like that's the thing, isn't it? And it, it isn't just like you know, it isn't just chalice equity, as you said. It's it's also like match equity as well, isn't it? Because the more you want to put, you want to stop this drive, obviously. But the yeah, fact that he's got it, a wizard means that you know you, it it might be in vain. Anything you do do might in vain. So what, what the worst thing you can do is put everything into it. And then concede anyway, and you've got half a team left for yeah. overtime. So that's the you know. But you also don't want to get to overtime with him still having the wizard. Like you want to mm. make him use the wizard. So it's there's there's a lot of uncertainty in it. Yeah, it's very tough, very tricky. Still, even with only four turns left. Honestly, if this was rebel, I like I would have been based up by all these dark elves. I wouldn't have rolled a single pal, and the guy would have been terrible, and he would have beaten me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is why every experience of playing like high TV dark elves is just literally just get based by everything, be completely unable to roll a pal, and then just lose. Mm. And I wonder, I wonder if we get to that turn because of the fact that it's Chalice, and there is a potential final in the next game, and like like. Just that fault in your head of I don't want to lose a player. Yeah, that's the thing. I think he's a lot more likely to play like that in overtime, you know. But, um, yeah. With now, he's he's got to have that in his mind, doesn't he? The overtime in his mind. But, I mean, this is the thing. Like, if he does base everything, where did the necro go? Because they're all going to be base. They're not going to be able to dodge off him. They're not going to be able to go anywhere. Like, like. They haven't got a lot of bite. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's only one mighty blow player there. Mm. Like, and then the Dark Elves outrun the the Necro. Like, they're all like movement three. But well, I guess the two werewolves are interesting. But like, it honestly causes so many problems for the Necro. And I, I feel like um, Beard is almost getting away with this at the moment because it could be so much worse for him. Mm. And uh, render 447, yes, the Rambad uh, foul with his one of his best players. 
it was good for CCL uh, memes, but not the best foul. Foul, <laughs> not the best foul. It was like uh, Messi trying to foul Cristiano Ronaldo or the other way around. <laughs> Yeah, now um, he's going to get fouled again, and now he could be down another player. Can you imagine all these guys were based with sidestep and blodge? Like, it's, they wouldn't be going anywhere. He'd be going, oh my god, what do I do? How do I get out of this? Yep. But, like, you could lose a, a, a 51 SPP player, do you know what I mean? With a stat, like, that's the... <coughs> and mm. here comes the foul. He has done a good job of protecting his best players, hasn't he, man? Because, like, you know, it's, it's... But he has taken four cars on all shitters, and they're adding up. Does he yap all this? No, he's still not yeah. appling. And he wouldn't, like... And honestly, Beard wouldn't have been able to do this if he was based, like, by everyone <laughs> last turn. Which is we what I'm gone. saying, like, it's like... <laughs> we have gone from ball the wolf to base the wolf. <laughs> base, them all, mate, base them all, just just chuck them all in, base them all, and then go deal with it. Like, do you know what I mean? It's got to base them all. It's, it's terrible, but I mean, it's a good uh, thing because uh, there is only one tackle in the Necro team and one wrestle, so and one mighty you know, bow. Like, it's like, do you know what I mean? It's yes, it's, it's, the powers are there, but uh, you can put huge amounts of pressure on the mm. Necros. Now you imagine he did it on like two turns ago, just based everything. <laughs> like he could have got the wizard out, could have stole the ball. Like it's like, but at the moment he's just bleeding out. Or the three cards that he's taken this drive could have been his three best players, and he could be thinking yeah. to himself, uh, "Oh my yeah, god, yeah. I've got more chance in overtime." So it's or the final, yeah, <laughs> yeah, or the yeah. final, yeah, Either, yeah. yeah, it's true. At the moment, I think Mankis has got everything to lose, and uh, Augmented Beard's got nothing to lose, that's the thing. Yeah. But I mean, he's losing it, isn't he? You know, he's had f taken four cars. Well, he's foul when all your zombies are based. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a base, base, base uh, scenario. That... Mm. Like the interesting thing is, right? For me, is if okay. this wasn't the semi-final, would it be played differently? Hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? Like, if this was like the first round, like, would he have just gone? Ah, screw it! Like I'll go in, like or if this is the second round, you know. But like when you got one eye on the final, like that's the thing, isn't it? It's... Well, now he has based uh, everything. We'll see. Yeah, everything's gonna die, and I'm gonna look like an it's... idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, everything is based, but there are not that many elves left. Yeah, this is it. That's to create, well, yeah. you know, actual extreme uh, pressure because the wolf is gonna be able to hit, chain is gonna be able to hit, so that could be, you know, free the ghoul. Yeah, but the ghoul's gonna be potatoing because everything's gonna get left behind. This is the thing. So you might even see a wizard here from Beard just to try and get some guys with the ball. Cool, be. He's thinking. Yeah, he's gone in. Him. He's gone in. He's done it. He's called it. He's gone. Nah, I've had enough of this. <laughs> what a chad. And now this is this is Beard's hardest turn that he's had to work out in the whole drive, like it's a nightmare. Mm. I mean the obvious way to solve it is just roll powers, right? I mean he hasn't done there. Where's he oh big ball step in there. Thomas still would be proud. And actually was the right the right score to go. Oh first pow Right, is it an armor break? It's a removal, but just a kill. But imagine, still imagine, big if one. imagine if he'd done that four turns ago, Ed. 
<laughs> well, like Jim, it's, it's not over yet. Like. No, it's not. But well, it's interesting, though, isn't it? That's the thing. Like it's in. Like that's the thing, right? It's not as if like basing is better or worse. It's just it's just high risk. He high has reward, been aggressive or been defensive. That's it. Yeah. The, the only two. The the only two points of view is been, you know, conservative or aggressive, tight or loose. Mm. And there's no apo there. Managed to managed to resist that one. So there you go. Well done, Jim. <laughs> but he can't he can't clear this can he like he's got a power because or, or no like no he can move off. the dirty player uh, zombie to cover the square there's two though yeah he can't like this is it this oh, yeah. is it it's like he's He's in a very tight spot. Oh, dodging with oh, all the chain he works oh. and fails. And oh, well, well, <laughs> Lona succeeds to fail again. Cheney has only done one thing in the whole game. This was the only action Cheney has actually done and failed. Yep. And now, now Mankis is looking like a genius as the, you know, his one turn of contact is oh, I, I was. I was all looking. I was all looking like re feeling really happy, and then you said Mankies instead of Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Dimmy's looking like a genius here because the one turn that Mankies listens to Dimmy <laughs> is the, 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 the time that everything works. Yeah, I think yeah, it's you've got, got a power blood though. It's got a power blood charge. So it's worked to be done. It's tough because you want to move the witch round here to cancel these two assists. And then put in the guard in 2D him to here, and then the Arch 5 gets it and gives it to him, and he fucks off. But if you put in the Witch Elf there first, then the Witch Elf can't blitz in the event that you don't knock down first. So it's it's super interesting, isn't it? Maybe, maybe the low level rebel Dark Elf coaches had it right this whole time. Maybe that's what it was. Maybe. Well, the, the whole basic thing, I mean. They just that's base not, me every turn with sidestep. Not, not <laughs> like, and I that's could not power a single for, one For of Thomas them. T, that's a way of life. Could <laughs> not power. Could, could not play with power. The, dark elves. the mighty bloke can cancel the witch. So then he's the out. Well, no, the edge five is the outlet. Okay, he's leaping in. Okay, interesting. Oh yeah, because now he gets the uh, chain into another hit as well. The mighty blow could have given the assist, and the witch could have cancelled. Then you're two D. Then you've got the edge five here, right? That you then pass to, and he fucks off because he's edge five. So this this oh, yeah, cancels yeah, yeah. and gives you an assist, but now you still got another assist, so yeah, yeah. You still needs to cancel it. with one. But then if you cancel with the edge five, then you haven't got the edge five for the recovery. So yeah, he really wants the second shot on the witch, which is quite reasonable, obviously. On the goal, but now he hasn't got the edge five. Oh, the second shot with the witch, right? Yeah, okay. and now he's got no edge five recovery whatsoever. I mean, you you make it sound like edge four is bad, Jim. <laughs> It's not as good as Arch 5, Dim. <laughs> still two pluses. <laughs> still yeah. two pluses. Yeah. And this lets him get pushed that Instant way, which is really cool. Pow. Yeah, really, yeah to be fair, that leap was really nice because it did let him to push in that direction. Oh! But he's still got the, he's still got the blitz. Don't oh, that is, that is horrendous for Mankis. But he's still got the blitz, so it's all right. I mean, even if he doesn't even get the ball down, like, it's like... Yeah. Oh, there's another power bit. He's going in between the golems. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's still oh, looking pretty good for man because he's got three yes, players on yes, this. Yes, yes, yes. That zombie there is in trouble, but you know, zombies. He's not, he's not in range either. Time. He's not in range. <laughs> what, what is it they call him? Magnet hands, isn't it? Magnet hands. Magnet hands, yes. I'd definitely put the witch on him. Like, I think there's no reason not to. <laughs> Don't have backup for your backup, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, exactly, yeah. I mean, I would want backup on the sack attempt as well. 100% I would want the Witch's backup on the sack attempt. But then I was just saying that, you know, that's the thing. He doesn't want to commit the Edge 5 recovery to it, but he did commit both Edge 5s to it. And, you know, it nearly paid off. <laughs> nearly. Yeah, because now the problem here, uh, <laughs> Necro, is you have the ball in the zombie. Good. But who's going to score? Because the wolf and the white hey. are very busy right now. Yeah. The ghoul is uh, stunned. 
Yeah, that's the thing. It's the ultimate win more skill, isn't it? Diamond tackle, and there you go, the diamond tackle. And the ball oh. fails. Oh. Oh. Diced. Oh, that's oh. the dice in here. I wonder if you should have bought this one though, right? And then just dodged out to hit him and power him. And well, he then... won't get to any of them, is he? Well, I mean, he's not going to bolt now, but because <laughs> he rolled a one. But if you bolt this one, then that gets you the wolf and the and the zombie, the wolf and the white out, doesn't it? You know, so this would have got both of these out, obviously on three pluses. It was, it was really horrible. Oh, mate! If that zombie one D powers into armor break and then waddles towards the end zone, I'll be so happy. Whoa, imagine that. Zombie scoring. I was thinking about that. You know, potato Come on, zombie. Hero zombie. It you were the chosen one! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'd love to see the 1D power. Like he's would got to, good. right? He Like he has to. What else does he do, Jim? What else does he do? He blitzes yeah, with this wolf. Good. This wolf blitzes the sidestepper and then runs down as a scoring threat and hopes or, to or the what? Or the white, the white hits the sidestepper and then the wolf dodges out. Oh god. Like, you oh, got to power the diving tackle. Oh, yeah. that's not a power. So he tries That's to power him first, and when he doesn't power him, then the wolf tries to power him. Oh my god. Oh my god. He rolled a one on the bolt, and then he rolled dub skulls with the block and dub skulls with the blitz. Jesus Christ. And uh, that's it? Yeah. I don't think quite. the Necro can score uh, now, so. Uh... Uh, oh yeah, the werewolf's on the floor, yeah. Yeah, that is it. That is it. It is over. Uh, Chain of Flesh Golem, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, Chain of Flesh Golem. Well, Chain the Shrimp Fire Flesh Golem, you ain't chaining the other one. I have to say, it's a very disappointing uh, end for a mental beer because he has done a lot of things right this game. Yep. Thank you, Ad Adi Tully. Thank you. And it uh, all worked when he did what Dimmy said, yeah. But you yeah. see, crucially, he did it on turn 14, not earlier. When Dimmy would have done it. Just saying, I'm just putting it out there, Dimmy. I'm not criticizing you. I'll say you're that, wrong. That sounds like a massive oh, uh, criticism. Dimmy is just putting the time stamp <laughs> in the event. It's just a fact. <laughs> it's a data. You can uh, argue with data. But I think it was timed pretty great by Mankes, right? He, he got, he took four cars. It was all on shitheads. And then when the time came to engage, he engaged. And he got a fair bit of luck, obviously, with these horrible skulls and ones and everything. But worked out pretty well, didn't it? Yep. I feel sad for uh, Beards, but uh, yeah, we we'll played Mr. Kiz, and uh, I guess we'll see you in the final. Mr. Kiz. Are we going to get anything exciting? Probably it's not. the re-roll in into a 1 in 9, and that sums up Beard's dice for the game. Mm. In the past, was a 1. I know it was a zombie pass, but uh, you know, yeah, it's a very interesting uh, game from a tactical uh, point of view, with uh, in the end the dice having a devastating effect on our middle beer. I think, mean, yeah, I mean, a lot of Monk it was is, just a massive... Monk is like a true professional rolling dub skulls now to say that he also rolled dub skulls. <laughs> yeah. That he was uh, more lucky than the other, you know? <laughs> balance in the stats. Yeah, the classic. The classic for the dice log. Oh, there's a one See, for the now, dice log. See, one. See, it's like, oh my uh, god, I also rolled ones. Both of us absolutizing. <laughs> well, there you go. That was a game um, that happened. <laughs> And I guess you know that the better team won, didn't they? But uh, it was yeah. a good. It was a good effort from uh, from Augmented Beer. The, his team was way worse, and he definitely made a fight of it. But you know, greatly great time by Mankeys. He Mankis. had Mankeys mm. against the ropes for mm. uh, a lot of time. So yeah, very good uh, effort by Augmented Beer. Can uh, leave the mm. competition with a head high. He did the best he could have done uh, given the situation. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> oh man, so there you go. Commiserations, Augmented Beard. Congratulations, Man Kiss. Thank you very much, Fimey, and very much, Dimmy G. Glorious having you both. Legends in the booth. It's always a pleasure to be here, and I hope I will be with from Greece. Also, enjoy this absolutely epic, godlike match. <laughs>
Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.